Hello, people. This is Bear from Everwave. And uh, today, as you can see, we're going to take a look at Google. So I figured I'm going to do one, um, let's say, tech stock, um, one US stock, a big one, big names. A week, last week was NVIDIA. I'll leave you the link as usual on the top right of the screen. T today is going to be uh, Google. If you want to, you know, if you want to suggest what should next week uh, stock be, let me know down in the comments or you can join the Discord. And let me know in there. Uh, obviously, it's absolutely free. Now, uh, tomorrow's video is going to be Bitcoin, and um, and yeah, yesterday's no, yesterday I was away, I was busy. Uh, the last one was the Nasdaq. If you want to take a look at the Nasdaq, as obviously it is correlated with, um, I mean, it is correlated with Google and vice vice versa. Now, yes. Uh, what are you looking at? Is my preferred account? Am I extremely bullish? Yes. Can I be wrong? Yes. Can I be right? Yes. Uh, will I be wrong? <laughs> I, I've, as usual, if I knew the answer, I wouldn't be here. Now, what has been going on? So, if you've been following my tech stocks uh, video, um, Google has been facing some issues in the core room uh, because of uh, a multitude of factors. Now, that drove the, the stock price down almost 20%. Yeah, a bit over 20%. The question is, is this a one, two? Are we going into Lambo's territory? Or, or maybe this is a way for up for five pullback upside or one, two, three, four, five. This five goes here and we're doomed. Now, let's explore the possibility one at a time and see what's going to happen. Now, first of all, as you can see, um, if you, if we draw, uh, if we were to draw the channel, connect one and three, and then project it from two onwards to get the estimate for wave four, we found that potential wave four found support on the middle line of the channel, right? Which it's pretty interesting. Now, at this point, I uh, we can look at volume. So volume, I was volume on the weekly, not too bad. Uh, so today's Friday. So it's gonna be interesting if today, today's volume, I mean, zoom in today's volume, if it's going to close above a last week volume, that's going to be interesting. Look at the averages. Yeah, we are in between the what the 20 and the 50. Yeah, just below the 50 right now. Okay. And if we work in numbers, how surprising we are finding support on top of 150. While we found oopsie, we found resistance just below 200 how surprising just like we found support on top of 100 just like we found support on top of 50 right how surprising now that being said let's slowly dive into it now the first question you may ask is Barrett, is we for in place now as usual my honest answer you didn't know it if I knew I wouldn't be here, my best guess is it is in place. And I don't know if it shows if I have some here in some folders. Um, nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Um, nope. It's interesting. What were? Okay. So. So I haven't forgot. Okay. So that was, that would be a complex or, a, um, yeah, I would see him rather that as a complex W X Y. Cause here I can see ABC rather than uh, a five wave move. Um, just trying to see if I, I had it somewhere, but I would need to place another folder here, a new one for all these. Okay. Let's do it and call it long. What's called weekly bullish. Okay, so at this point, do 
x y w x y intermediate there you go and uh, that would go in here and let's also put the channel in there as well okay now obviously uh, ah, training view training view training view if you want to sponsor me and offer me these tools for free i'll be highly appreciative as uh you like to move my waves now um it w so assuming we have a bottom in place which it's not necessarily true um the bearish alternate would be that um so as you can see i always i had this that basically can be thrown out the window now you may ask uh, can we come with the uh, what if what if a goes oh obviously yeah that can be five obviously uh, that has to be three B, C. so can we count three there change of colors um orange i said orange okay put it in the folder before it's too late and i lose them okay so a b what's the relationship 0.618 okay uh, fair enough how do we count this one two uh kind of a b minute nope wrong one so hopefully you guys enjoy this i mean i understand it can be a waste of time but you can see how my brain works when i label stuff that's why i do it um, and also because i'm lazy so if i have to do it before i record um yeah i wouldn't do it uh, because it, it would be just labeling for myself and then just showing the, you the, the charts what's the point in that I mean, what's the point in doing it for free? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, so at least like this, you may also um, learn. Is learn too much of a word or something? Um, so, is this realistic? I don't know. Let's see. 1.236. 27. 4. Okay. Hmm. I guess um, still doable, uh, but that will mean like very bad things happening, and I don't see that happening to be fair. So we'll put it back to sleep in this folder and we'll forget about it. Now let's focus on something interesting. What is what's going on here? So, guess number one, we're done, we're going to infinity and beyond. Um, yeah, obviously. All the waves are moved because that's what running view does um and uh as you can see c minor c against a 0.618 boom touch on support as well 150 which is interesting i was aiming towards here equality at around 135. will we get there i don't know um i guess we're gonna have to find out as you can see the pre-market is already up uh, one dollar um, which is interesting. Uh, I think we had the announcement of uh, interest rate cuts in the EU. Um, not sure what's happening in the US at the moment. Um, I would need to double check as this has been a pretty uh, busy week, 10 days. Um, but that's scenario number one. Now, the let's say slight, uh, slight alternate to this, A is done up in B and then back down for C. Um, is that ha possible? Yes, but I prefer this one. So we have these two. Then the one we were talking about earlier. Well, let's see. Okay, so I can throw this out of the window. Um, nope. Okay, so it's time to label again, guys. I know you're excited. 
So as I was saying, what if we have some sort of one, two, three, four, and five, and uh, let's be bullish, because as you remember, there's also the alternate that is a bit more, let's say, bearish. So can we count five in here? <laughs> Not really, can we? That's the problem. That is the problem, because I see three. Um, I don't know what you see. Let me know if I mean if you're still watching, um, and you're not bored by my terrible jokes. But let me know because I see three. I mean, it's a hard count, isn't it? Because you can one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Nope. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Nope. I mean, I. Now, nah. I guess you could do this, though. One, two, one, two. <sighs> Let me just put it here and then we'll investigate. I guess you could do this. Okay, so here, one, two, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, right there, or even this, to be honest. It's also one way to look at it, possibly. One, two, three, four, five, three. Alternation. Well, here, not so much. So I wonder, could we get sideways? I mean, the answer to could we? Yes. Will we? I wish. I knew. Um, but I think this is also a viable option, isn't it? Um, if we draw a channel, I saw some of your very anti channels. So interesting, yeah. As you can see, this like could be people watching it. it. Failed, boom. And at this point, we might. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we were to go back into it. That's usually what happens. Because it fails. Timmy's sell. They are someone else liquidity, and we go back higher. Um, they go here. Look for it. It's called a retest. Um, I mean, but that's again, that's like small fish is doing this a sell That's someone's liquidity. So we go higher um, Oh Well, well, I guess this could work to be honest uh, You could call this some sort of an ugly it Could be a complex Yeah, it's a sort of an ugly complex to be honest X Y Is it a bit of a stretch? Maybe. Um, but could it work? Yes. And um, if we look at measurements of 4v2, equality stands at 159. So that's also interesting. We are still within the, let's say, wave 4 range in terms of size, which is very nice. That's what we want to see. At least that's what I want to see. Um, so it's possible. And at this point, you may ask, if you're still watching, Barrett, is this going to be a wave 5 of 1 of 5? Or, or, should this be intermediate 5 of primary 5? And we'll see the end of the world. As usual, if I knew, I wouldn't be here. Uh, what I know is, what could happen if I'm right? We go higher. 
Once we go higher, we'll find out. Uh, 200 is the next level to watch for. Um, at this point, we could be, you know, could do a pullback, go back here. As you know, if you've been following the NAS account, as well as some other stocks, you know, it looks like we are might do one more high and then a bit of a larger pullback, which could make sense as we enter 2025. It's possible. Um, so long term, try, I mean, telling you long term what's going to happen, it's literally playing the lottery. I could say, I could literally say, okay, I th this is going to be one of two. We go higher. If I'm right, luck. If I wasn't right, just bad luck. Um, I don't know. I don't have any information at the moment uh, to make an educated guess. Or at least I don't want to. Um, my educated guess is, so far, three ways move, looking for upside, whether this is way four or infinity and beyond this. More than that, uh, time will tell. And uh, you know how time will tell? It will by watching the next video once you subscribe. So you will definitely not miss it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.